All right, everyone, welcome back to Behind the Beat. We're back for the month of January 2024. Happy to be back. Hope everybody had a great holiday season, Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, whatever you do. Maybe you don't celebrate anything. Still hope it was a good time for you. So happy to be back. Um, New Year. This is going to be the first full year of doing this. And I wanted to highlight a song that actually just came out. Um, By the time this video drops, it'll be within a few days, probably. Collaboration I did with an artist named Tommy G, who I've known for a couple years. He's out of the Sacramento area, I believe Chico, California, to be exact. Um, Had him on the podcast a couple years ago. He actually reached out to me probably in the spring of last year talking about, you know, how we should collaborate and how he wanted to work on some music. So we had talked about it initially, but hadn't been able to do it yet. Um, but once he, you know, hit me with that idea, I was like, man, absolutely would love to. Um, started just sending him a ton of ideas. And at this point, you know, we're going on a year of just working on ideas. I probably sent him a few hundred But this is probably one of the first ones that we ended up completing. We do have more songs coming soon, but I think this is a great first offering to give people to show the type of style that we're going to be doing primarily. You know, if you've if you've heard any of Tommy's work in the past, it's a lot of chill hop, jazz influenced stuff with traditional hip hop. So he does a lot of cool things. I love his wordplay and his ability to craft around different styles of production. I think that's one of the reasons why I knew that working on music with him would be super cool because I love getting experimental with different sounds and trying new things. And I've been able to do that so far with what I've done with Tommy. Um, so Champion, it's you know not too long. It's about a three minute record. Uh, but I liked what I did on this song. I have a different outro, which I'll show you guys when we get there, but we're going to just do what we always do, break it down, uh, one sound at a time. (coughs) I'm still recovering from being sick, by the way. So if I'm coughing during this video, please excuse that, but we'll try to get through it as best we can. So to start off, you already know I love piano. I've mentioned this before, favorite instrument, try to use that in a lot of different songs. And I knew that we were trying to go that jazz route. I wanted to incorporate more of that type of style, contemporary, classical, whatever. Um, So the real main lead is these jazz keys, which I'll play what they originally sounded like before I chopped them up. I'll play you some of the original sample here. I love those like super long arrangements because I'm able to take those and make my own thing out of them. I think the longer, the better, honestly, for those. And I heard that and I was like, yeah, that's definitely that jazzy type of style. And here is what I made from it. Took it to 100 BPM. So not too fast, but a nice mid tempo. Um, so to start off, here is the main melody that we got. created that simple eight bars and I tried to make it more of like the hip hop chops when I did chop it up um, and just differentiate it from the original. So that's really the main lead goes throughout the full song. Next up is the drums. Once again, these are, these were Neo soul drums uh, and that's why they're called Neo drums right there. Um, Just wanted something that was a little more soft and traditional 
that would fit this style of production. You know, you don't really want to go with trap drums or anything like that. You'd rather have something that is more common for the genre. So here's what the original sounds like. You can hear that live element to it. You know what I mean? It has swing, has a lot of things going on. So whoever originally recorded that, you know, they probably did it a live version of some, some way, shape or form. All I did was chop it up into a lot of different little pieces to make a new pattern. And here's what it sounds like. And that pretty much goes for the majority of the song until we get to that outro. But what I was trying to do with that is just get rid of a lot of the extra filler stuff that might throw somebody off if they're trying to write to it, especially since we're trying to you know, make it more of that hip hop style of production and combine the two. Just got rid of some of that stuff, kept the more interesting bits from it and went from there. Um, I'll actually do the bass first because that's kind of the next thing that comes in. Probably mentioned Morphine before, um, simple FL Studio plugin. This acoustic bass sound I use in a ton of different beats, especially beats that I'm looking for. Just a very simple, down-to-earth uh, bass sound. And so I'll play you the sold-out version of that. Bass lines are always relatively simple. I don't try to do too much with that uh, because uh, for me, I think the bass is just supposed to sit in the background and support the drums and support everything else. It's not supposed to like be the standout every single time. Um, so a very simple bass line there. Next up, we have some different percussion. I believe I took this little sound. It's just a little perk that you've probably heard in a lot of different beats before. Uh, here's the normal sound right here so it already had like a little bit of reverb to it all i did was add a lot more reverb on maybe a slight delay as well uh, and you can hear this right before the pre-chorus right during the pre-chorus and during the actual chorus as well So I just took that original sample and just gave it a little bit of space. As you can see, just kind of chopped it up and put it right there, all through there. That's all you got right there. And then this little reverse symbol, which I've definitely heard in a lot of different songs before, wanted to give it kind of just a message to say, hey, we're going into the chorus now. Since the chorus was pretty short, I just put it kind of back to back here. But here's that sold out. You know, just kind of tapers off, um, very subtle, but that fits the style of song. So when we get to the chorus, this is where some different things happen because everything I just showed you is from the original beat. And if I remember correctly, we kind of went back and forth on this song, me and Tommy just bouncing ideas. Uh, he definitely wanted some brass elements involved, some different horns things like that. Um, saxophone was on his mind as well. So he was like, just go see what you can find, see what you can come up with. Um, so I ended up coming up with, we'll mute this part first, this initial part that pretty much stands out on the hook. The only thing I needed to make sure that I did was find something to match the actual key of the song. Uh, and then once I chopped it up, it kind of just worked. So here's that by itself. Again, I, I followed that same formula of I wanted to make it more like hip hop chops where it's like you hear the natural sound of the music, but because the chops are the way they are, you know that I was in there 
messing with them, changing them, making them something new. That was very intentional. So I wanted that to kind of be the case with those as well. I think that's more of a French horn than anything from what I can tell. Uh, And just like I said, just added some reverb onto that like I usually do with everything else. And then I had this little, I think it's like a synth type sound that kind of comes in right when the pre-chorus is ending all the way through to the chorus. Here's what that sounds like. kind of just repeats but that's kind of it adds like a layer of a like a, a mysterious layer right there you might not be able to hear it you know in the full production but it's definitely present and there you go i mean you see it repeat and then repeat the verses on this are very short it kind of just gets in and out does its thing um so the next thing or really the ending part that i want to show you that i was talking about earlier is the outro and I think I had this in mind from the beginning, making this beat. I wanted to do a different outro, slow it down a lot. Um, and the thing about jazz in general, from what I can tell, I'm not an expert on jazz. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I know all these people. I know the genre inside and out. But from what I know of jazz, when they play live, especially, they can change the tempo of the song at a, at a moment's notice. You know what I mean? Like if the, if every player in the band is on point with one another and they're all in sync, you know, you give a cue to someone, they know how to, you know, we're going to go this way this time. So now we're going to drop it down in tempo, change the whole vibe. So I wanted to do that because this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is more of a jazz uh, esque song. So I wanted to do a different outro and I've heard a lot of songs that do it. So I wanted to try it on this one. Um, I believe I took this. Yeah, I did. I took the same keys from the initial part and I chopped them up again, just changing the pattern a bit. So I'll play you the new pattern for the outro here. just made a new variation from the initial sample that's all i did so i just cloned it over made a new variation pretty simple wanted to add in diff- totally different percussion though uh that felt more traditional to like i said that vibe of just let's bring this whole tempo down a little bit let's slow it down so this percussion is totally different from the rest of the percussion in the beat but here's that by itself. It's very slow, lethargic, but traditional. That's the key. It's still traditional to the sound. Um, And to me, it just signifies like We're coming to an end on this journey. Like the song is a journey. We came from having this high energy. Now we're slowing it down and it's going to just slowly, gradually end. So that's really what this whole outro is. And then once again, taking these uh, French horns, redoing a different pattern, taking a different part of the sample itself and making something new to end the song. Um So it is different from the version that's on the chorus, but here is the outro version of those French horns right here. that's pretty much where the song ends i put this uh fade out right here so this is what it would sound like when the horns fade out (laughs) 
So the outro itself together, like the ending, is just super cool. And that to me is just a great way to wrap the whole thing up, kind of tie a bow on it. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the full production right there from top to bottom. A little more uh, elements than a usual beat of mine. But I like doing that because when you know I can come with these initial uh, three or four sounds up here, do that by myself. Then I talk to the artist and they're like, hey, can you add this, this and this? Let's do something different at the end, all that stuff like that is super helpful. That's the best process for me is just being able to do that with someone that sees the vision and we can both kind of just kick ideas off of one another until we get something that we feel good about. I definitely feel this song came out great. I definitely am a fan. It's different from any of the songs that I've done up to this point, even those more contemporary style of sounds and songs that I've done. So I'm just excited to, you know, keep working with Tommy. I hope you guys enjoy this song because we, like I said, we have more songs coming out soon. Probably, hopefully, throughout the year we have more releases. Very excited for that. But yeah, this was the beat breakdown for Champion. Uh, I will leave the song link in the description so you can stream it, support it, whatever. Definitely check out Tommy's other work as well. Um, as always, I'll have the beat stars merch, all that stuff in the bio. If you guys want to check that out. Um, but <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> man, I'm getting, I'm going to get over this sickness one day. Who knows when, but definitely excited for 2024. Going to be dropping a lot of music, a lot of placements coming up here and a lot more videos, a lot more type beats, a lot more just quality stuff i hope you guys enjoy it so once again you know thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the month of february with another new behind the beat video till then take care have a good one